When we navigate to certain pages in our app, like this API keys page, we'll see this loading state and then the page appears. And this is because certain pages first need to retrieve information from the database, like our API keys, before it's able to display the page. We can see the same thing if we go to the dashboard page. If we refresh this, we'll get this loading state while it's loading our user data. And this loading state doesn't create a very friendly user experience. There are a few great ways in which we can prove the transition between pages to make it seem more responsive. And in this video, I'll show you how to use skeleton loaders to greatly improve the user experience. And if you are following along using my starter kit, which is free by the way, so definitely check out that video, then you already have access to the skeleton loader component. That is because our project uses ShadCN as a component library. So what ShadCN does is it gives you access to a whole bunch of pre-built components that you can use in your application. And this is really popular. AI generators like Lovable use ShadCN as well. In fact, if we have a look at its project structure, all the components within this UI folder were actually pulled in from ShadCN. But of course, setting up ShadCN in your own project is really simple. Simply go to Get Started, then select your framework, and you could simply copy this page, give it to your agent, and get your agent to install all of these dependencies. Afterwards, your agent will have access to all of these components that it can use in your application. For instance, let's say we wanted this drawer component. So we could have a button on our app, and when we click on that button, it will bring up this component that sort of slides in from the bottom, and if we cancel this, it goes away. Now, this component library is really cool, so I highly recommend checking out all of these components that it offers. But what we're interested in is this skeleton component which shows this glowing or pulsing outline of the components of the website. So I'll tell the agent, please replace the loading text throughout the dashboard pages with a suitable ShadCN and skeleton loader that match each page's content. To help the agent with the installation steps and the usage of this component, we can copy this page and paste it into the chat. And I'll simply add think hard and send this. And just for interest's sake, if we go to source, components, and UI, we can see all the ShadCN components that have been installed in our app. And we should see the skeleton components show up in this folder as soon as the agent installs it. In fact, the agent decided to create the component itself. And for the most part, this might work as these models already have a good understanding of these components as part of its training data. But just to be sure we're using the latest version, I'm going to ask it, please install the component instead of manually creating it. As I mentioned, these agents are really good at recreating these components itself, as it's already seen these components. But I just wanted to show you this alternative approach that if you see the agent recreating the component itself, simply stop the process by hitting escape and ask it to install the component instead. And just looking at the output, I can see that it ran this command to install the skeleton. All right, cool, our agent is done and it says it changed the following pages, all related to the dashboard. Let's refresh this page and see what happens. We can now see these skeleton loaders in place of the actual content. And now we can see the actual content. Let's have a look at the dashboard view. I'm just going to refresh this. And now we can briefly see the skeleton loaders until the content arrives. This feels a lot more responsive than just having the loading text on the screen. Let's refresh something like the billing page. And yes, this looks awesome, don't you think? I don't want to mention that ChatCN also has an MCP server, which gives the agent access to browse, search, and install components itself. Let's give this a spin. I'm actually going to copy this command and back in our project, I'm going to open up the terminal and let's run that command. I can see it changed this mcp.json file and it added a record for ShadCN. Let's actually give this a spin. Let's ask our agent to add a component that we don't have in our project yet and see if it uses the MCP server. So I'll just go to components. Let's go to accordion. And this component allows you to collapse and expand these sections. So let's tell our agent, please add an FAQ section to the home page and use the ShadCN accordion component to implement this. Then I'm going to restart Claude, just so it retrieves that new MCP server. And now we can see ShadCN is indeed connected. Therefore, let's ask, please add an FAQ section to the homepage. 
using the shared CN accordion component. And just to be sure, if we look in our components folder, we don't have access to the accordion component yet. So let's send this. All right, it's checking if the accordion component is available. It's looking in the UI folder and it didn't find the component. Now the agent is asking our permission to call the shared CN MCP server. So let's just say yes. Then let's say yes again. I'll just keep approving its commands. And look at that. Now it's asking our permission to run the command to install the accordion component. Let's say yes. And look at that. Now we have the accordion component in the UI folder and the agent should be able to use it in our app. I really like this. I'm going to add this MCP server to our starter kit project as well. Right, the agent says it's done. And let's go back to our app and let's look for that FAQ section. And there we go. It's at the bottom of the page. And here we can see a whole bunch of questions. And if we click on these, we can expand and collapse these using the accordion component. I hope you're enjoying the series of videos where we build a full stack application together. Please check out the previous videos where I show you how to use my free starter kit to start up any project. And in the previous video, we had a look at using the Playwright MCP server to give our agent full control over the browser and to fix UI issues. Definitely check out that video as well. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.